Good evening. The school bell will ring at John Fisher Public School next year while a 35 story apartment building goes up next door. Earlier this evening, Toronto District School Board trustees voted to keep kids in the classroom despite strong concerns from some parents over the development. Safety first. Safety first. After months of furor and protest, including one last stand by parents this morning. All those in favor. Trustees voted this evening that John Fisher Public School and an apartment project next door will just have to coexist. I don't think you could possibly say it's a great location for a building. I'm not going to deny that. But I think we have done everything we can to ensure that it's safe for our students and it will be um, a safe property to go to. The board adopting a report that will see 14 safety measures put in place during the building's construction. They include a large fence around the development, double pane windows to minimize noise, and air conditioning for when the school won't be able to open its windows due to noise and dust. Do you think these 14 measures are enough? I do, absolutely. I mean, this is probably one of the more comprehensive plans for any building in this entire city. Uh, I think the director mentioned it, but bylaws are here and our plan is up here. For many board members here, the decision tonight was making the best out of what they see as a bad situation. The Ontario Municipal Board approved the project despite objections from both the board and the city. The 35-story apartment building is being built a mere 60 feet from the school near Young and Eglinton. We're caught in between a rock and a hard place. We've got to deal with a school. We were completely abandoned by every other level of government from the premier on down. And I don't think that what w the board is being asked to do is at all appropriate. SOS, save our school. Some parents here feeling abandoned by the board, accusing it of not fighting hard enough against the development. In terms of parents, you know, the, our concern is fundamentally, it's, this, it's the safety, but it's also the health and the education of our kids. This is a three-year construction project. KG Group, the builder, has agreed to pay $500,000 for the safety measures. $65,000 will come from TDSB coffers. Representatives from KG Group declined to comment on camera tonight, but they said in a statement, The mitigation measures we have put in place for 1830 Erskine are unprecedented compared to any other development in the city of Toronto. These mitigation measures, including on-site third-party monitoring, are secured in the TDSB's agreement with KG Group. It's going to be very safe. I mean, we're not sending kids back to a school we don't think is safe. That's not even... we would never do that. Now, demolition is not expected to get underway until school's out for the summer. North York Community Council voting to delay that so the TDSB could first respond. Now that a plan is approved, likely so too will be the permits.